Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> um, so I have a new world in here, and it is called Hostile Trails Pigot Panic. I think that's how you say it. It's one of Vex's maps. If you've never heard of him, he makes really hard maps. Um, normally the goal is to fill in a victory monument with a bunch of different colors of wool, but in this case, it's to uh, he's doing something new. Where, uh, well, I'll read the rules. Welcome to Hostile Trails number one, Piggit Panic, by Vex. Hi, Piggy. Oops. Um, rules. One, transport ten piggits, pigs, to the victory pen. Don't do it, don't go on the top of the map ceiling. Alright, fair enough. Uh, three, you win if you have ten piggits in the victory pen. Use at least easy, never peaceful. You can mine, craft, build, etc. Hints, minecarts could, could be the way to go. The victory pen is at the top of a stone brick tower. You'll need to escort your piggits a long distance. Alright then. Stone tools and food, low. Estonian battle sign, level 1. Mine farmer, extreme turbo action playset, ages 10 and up. Alright then. And these videos are going to be ten, uh, 30 minutes long. I need to mine this out when I find out what's, uh, when I get a, uh, or, no, that was the wrong one to mine, I should have mined down here. Because I can almost guarantee there's something underneath that, or not. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I really feel, oh, this must have been the spawn point. Yeah, there it is. Alright, never mind. Okay. So yeah, um, I'm sure there's just like tools and supplies and stuff in those chests over there. I just want to come check this one. Potions, medium. I don't, I don't understand what this, what the sign is, well, let's see. Strength, swiftness, 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 strength, regeneration, and instant healing. That's cool, but I don't want any of those right now. <laughs> because they're going to be, presumably they'll be important, and I don't want to waste them. Stone tools and food, low. Okay. So I'm probably going to need to get um, more food, especially with how fast I run around all over the place. Uh, there's Estonian battle sign, level 1. I don't know what that means. P Whoa! <laughs> That's awesome! The sign has knockback on it. Alright. That's interesting. And, uh, farming... A farming kit. Alright. And what's in here? I don't know what that's about. We got a home... Empty chests. Um, let's see. An enchanting table. That's interesting. Why is it broken? I don't like that. And a brewing stand. Which is nice, which means we'll be able to make more potions if we use up the ones they gave us. There's another chest there. Let's see, bedrock mountains. Or bedrock wall. So we can't get out. Um, ow. That was stupid. Um... I'm going to check to see if there's a spawner by the the victory pickets. <laughs> hmm. I love that. Um <clears throat> just because yeah, okay, there's there is a pig spawner up there. So, um they shouldn't be able to get out with the exception of if they uh jump up on top of each other. But uh yeah, let's see. So we've got we've got a pig spawner there and they just jump down here and land in there. So that's that's good. So we can take as many sheep or as many pigs as we want from there. Um, or what I mean is, uh, I can kill as many pigs as I want and cook their meat without much problem. One of the first things I'm gonna do: grab some. I am on hard mode. Just making that clear. Uh, well, leather pants do not give you much protection. Oh, and I think I was trying to say it earlier, but I totally forgot. Um, or I did say it earlier, and I totally forgot that. Um, this ep Each episode of this is going to be a half hour long. Um, those of you who wanted more uh, longer episodes will be giddy, I'm sure. Um, I just, I feel like I'm not going to get much done, because these maps are supposed to be hard. Um, so I I want to make sure that I've got enough time in an episode to do something. <laughs> so I'm going to keep 
um, this sign on hand because <laughs> it's amazing. I didn't know you could, like, because uh, he uses MC Edit. I, I'm assuming it's MC Edit. He uses something to um, edit these maps. And I didn't realize that you could use that to actually enchant things that couldn't be enchanted normally. Because, um, like, I know you can hack enchantments onto, to onto tools and stuff and make them, like, really high level. Uh, like, I have a friend who's actually one of you, um, who said she enchanted some tools with, like, knockback 20, which I'm sure was uh, hilarious, at least. Um, that's weird, there's no glass up there. I'm just, I'm just looking around, because I know he likes to hide things, and to be honest, I like looking for things, so... Um, I'm just checking around up here to see if there's anything that I might have missed, or, you know, just anything interesting. Also, it'll give me a nice view um, over there, and I'll be able to get up on top of this little area here, which looks interesting. Water over there, on the other side of the mountain. It's good to know. Um, oh, thought I heard something. Okay, so I, I am going to play by the rules. Um, I'm just going to make sure I am on hard. I came straight from my Let's Play world, so I should be fine. Um, let's see. There's another chest down there. Maybe with boats? There is an island across the ocean. Or across the water, I should say. Not necessarily an ocean. There's squid in the ocean, but... I suppose the, the goal here isn't to get wool, so... Uh, <laughs> I'll, I guess I'm free to die any wool that I want. Nope, don't sprint. Gotta, gotta remember that. Sprinting is bad. I, I should be able to just swim to that from over here, so I'm just going to keep exploring the top of this little area here. I like this little mountain range. and Oh, coal, right down there. Okay, that's good to know. And there's stuff for a wheat farm. And, oh, I don't know if I could get back up from there. See, that's why I didn't want to jump down. Um, without looking where I was going first. It's interesting that he gave us tools. I guess this probably isn't supposed to be a super hard map, because um, he does have some incredibly hard ones. I've I have finished one map. Oh, I could swim up there. All right. So if I go down there, I'll be fine. Um, well, I wouldn't be able to get up that way, but I could just dig my way up. I have done one of his super hostile maps. I did um. Uh oh boy. I can't remember the name of it. Um, uh, Sky something? <laughs> um, not Skylands, that wasn't him. Um, sky something. I don't remember what it was called, but it had something to do with the sky. <laughs> and, uh, it, nope, no sprinting. Um, it, it was a beautiful map, and I loved it. Um, it was fantastic. I had tried doing... Uh, the building blocks low. I don't. I don't remember what it was called. Uh, hell no. Jeez, I need to look up these names. Um, I'll pause the recording and look up those names, and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Um, the maps were Infernal Sky and Sea of Flame Two. Uh, Infernal Sky has recently been updated to 1.0.0, so um, I may want to check that out once I get back. Or uh. Like, I may or may not go back and uh, redo it. Which, actually, that would be fun to do with you guys, I guess. Um, I, I don't know how different it is, though, because he, he updated them really quickly. So I'm assuming that means that they weren't um, extremely different. You know? Because otherwise I'd assume it would take a while. But what do I know? I've never made a map before. Oh, well, I suppose I could... Is that just an empty an empty block there? I think it's just an empty block. What's this? Potions, low. Alright, potion of swiftness, healing, regeneration, healing, regeneration. I'm not going to use them, I'm just taking them with me. Now I need to get back. And I have a bunch of cobblestone. So I will take care of this creeper <laughs> and that spider. back. Okay. And then I will be building a bridge across. 
is that the same height level as this side? It might not be. I'm not sure though. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, oh, uh, this will be part one. I'm going to have to pause the recording and start up another one. So I'll be right back. Alrighty. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here we are again. I'll just eat a little bit. And, oh, darn it. <laughs> I'm uploading uh, episode 4 of the Hardcore Mode Let's Play and episode 40 of the regular Let's Play right now. Um, uh, yeah. Yep, don't know if I was going anywhere with that, but uh, that's that's what I've got to say for now. So, um, I don't know how hard this map is going to be. Uh, I don't know. I've, like I said, I've done um, Infernal Sky, and it was a great map. And I tried um, Sea of Flames, Part Two. Hello, hey buddy, come on, buddy, come on, just just walk over the edge. No big deal. Go ahead. I won't stop you. No, sapling. I hate you. Okay. You're stupid. And so are your friends. Okay, I, I really want to try this sign out, actually. Because <laughs> it's got knocked back too. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> so this is good for situations where, like, I don't want to... Okay, okay, there's got to be a spider spawner somewhere here. Oh, jeez, no, you, you can back up. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. No, don't blow a hole in my house, please. Thank you. Oh, phew, okay. Um, the way beds work... Hey, pig. <laughs> um, the way beds work now is different. Um, mobs will no longer spawn on you if you're sleeping um, since 1.8. I mean, 1.0. Um, it's just that they... Hey, put those back! I don't have enough armor to deal with him on hard. Dang it. Uh, I need to be careful. Those guys are going to teleport directly in front of me one of these times. And it's not going to be pretty. Alright, oh, there's that uh, chest up there. <laughs> That's awesome. I love how he's got the... Uh, the oh, scared me. Um, knock back on that sign. That's awesome. The Estonian battle sign. I wonder if it glows when you put it down. Oh, I'm afraid to put it down. Maybe it'll lose its enchantment. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, well. I'll just... I'll make a grave for it. Here, I've got other signs, right? <laughs> here we go. Right back over to the front here. Where this is, just... Dig down to... There we go. Now, I'll make... Sandstone's pretty. I'll make it out of... No. I'll do it out of these slabs. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> enough of that. Um, I have enough st Oh, I need wood. Because I don't believe I was supplied any- Oh, I was supplied some. But, oh well. I'll chop down some wood anyway. Because I want to get that chest. And- Go away. Nobody loves you. <clears throat> Excuse me for any strange noises coming from my throat. <laughs> um, such as- clearing my throat, or anything of the like. Hmm. I wonder where that goes. I wonder if there's anything down there. I'm gonna check down both of the, uh, holes at some point or another, just not right now. Um. But yeah, I don't know if I'm sick or if it's just because I didn't get much sleep lately, or I haven't been getting much sleep lately, so, um, it could be that. <clears throat> I don't know. Anyway. Combat supplies, low. Oh boy, I don't have any space in my inventory at all. 
Okay, bone, going over the edge. Rotten flesh, going over the edge. Uh, gravel, going over the edge. String, spider eye. Uh, lint, I don't see how that'll be useful anytime soon, but you never know. Iron sword, yay. Torches, leather, pork chop, bow. No! I have one too many arrows. That's alright. I don't need that arrow. Okay, you get out of the way, and I'll just hop up here. Oh, that doesn't really get me anywhere, does it? Let's climb up the mountain. Get a good view of this side. I like to know what I'm up against. I'm assuming there's going to be another chest. Or, whoa, almost fell off there. Another chest around here somewhere. Um, just because there was one on the other side. Uh, let's make our way up because I do want to get a good view of the area here before it gets dark again. I'm going to need to remember to um, sleep as early as possible, if possible, uh, to avoid being ganged up on by night mobs. Uh, Alright, I was saying earlier, the uh, the beds don't work the same way they used to. In mobs don't spawn on you anymore like they used to. Because um, it used to be that if you were in an area that mobs could have access to, or an area that um, uh, was too dark or something like that, um, you could get woken up in the middle of the, or you could get woken up by a zombie or skeleton, and that was pretty annoying, I'd say, um, and it doesn't work like that anymore. You can't get spawned on by things anymore, or at least I haven't, and, um, but if there's mobs nearby, then you can't sleep. Like, it won't let you sleep if there's mobs within what I'm assuming is, like, 16 blocks. Because that's... That just sounds about right for what I've seen. I just broke my pick, so I'm going to have to go around without a pick for now. <laughs> Alright, so there's nothing up here. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I want to dig this this block here. Okay, yep, I don't have enough space to do that. Um, let's see, what don't I want? I don't need this dirt. Oop, there we go. Okay, then put the crafting table down. Make some sticks. Didn't mean to make that many sticks, or didn't mean to put that there. Um, Alright, is there anything in there? No? Alright. It just looked suspicious. I thought there might be. And actually, I I'd said not to go over the top of the map, and I won't. But um, it did say on the forums that there was nothing interesting up there, and I don't believe him <laughs> because he's a little liar. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, he does say because I mean these maps are supposed to be hard, and he does like to hide things and you know stuff all over the place. Um, and I'm, I'm cool with that. I just don't believe him when he says there's nothing up here. Because, <laughs> uh, I found that through all of the, like, Let's Plays that I've seen of people playing his, uh, maps and everything, yeah, it's best to not believe him. Uh, this gravel's floating here. And that scares me a little bit. Because floating gravel is never a good thing. Um, there's stone down there. It's good to know. I mean, I have plenty of stone, but, you know, still, it's good to know. Hmm. I may... No, that may be difficult. Because uh, the goal is to get the, the pigs to the end, right? So I might just, like, bring them up over this thing here to avoid having to build my whole way across. Um, because I don't know how difficult that's going to be. Um, I don't know where the the end of the thing is. Um, and I, I hate to waste all this cobblestone here, but I don't have much of a choice because my inventory's full. Um, oh, and there's all the stuff I dropped. Um, but yeah, I don't know how far away it is, I don't know how difficult the map is going to be, but I'm going to assume that it's not easy. So, I will be, um, <clears throat> attempting, or er, I'll be trying to find the best way that I can to get across there, and by best I mean most survivable. Um, I'm going to put the things that I don't necessarily want 
in this chest, uh, or at least not at the moment, because like I don't need. I, I will keep the bow, and I'm I do want to get a, a farm started, but I don't have any iron, so I can't make a bucket. So any farm I make will have to be by the water, which I'm not so happy about. But I don't really have much of a choice there. Um, these potions can go in there because I don't I don't want them on me. Leather I don't do leather armor. It's almost pointless. Um, let's see let's see I want these I want that potion stick seeds. All right, and that's supposed to go there. All right, so we're good to go on that front. And uh, it's time for my me to pause the video again, and I'll be right back. Alrighty there. Alrighty then. Okay, whatever. That was weird. Oh, my D key is weird. Oh, oh, it fixed. I think there's something underneath it. <laughs> I do play on a laptop, so. Um, you know, it's not the best computer, but oh well. Figured I might as well enchant it. I mean, you put an enchanting table up here. Might as well make use of it. And I'm not going to put anything on a stone sword because at five levels. Um, I mean, on a stone pick because at five levels um, the enchantments suck as it is and uh, oh dear iron okay well uh, we'll just head down there <laughs> and pray that it isn't a trap or some kind of um, trick because that's entirely possible there could just be lava underneath it um, again I don't know what exactly the difficulty for this map is supposed to be because he has a lot of different difficulties on his maps, and some of them are just like easy. Uh, they're not the maps themselves aren't easy, but they're listed as easy um, because all of his maps are are difficult. They're super hostile maps, you know. But uh, some of them are harder than others. As in, some of them, no matter what you see, it's probably a trap. <laughs> like legendary is a rom hack hard map, and I don't know where. I don't know exactly what the term originated from. Um, presumably, somebody hacked a ROM for a video game. ROM being like, you can you can download emulators for consoles like a Nintendo 64 or um, things like that, and then play games on them, uh, like Nintendo 64 games. And the games themselves are generally referred to as ROMs because it's it's read-only memory. It's I'm assuming that's the reason for. Um, because read-only memory is a thing that's used in computers um, for something that you can't overwrite. But, uh, I mean, you can overwrite it if you try hard enough, but, uh, f you know, it's not easily overwritten. So, um, anyway, uh, I'm assuming it came from people hacking those and making them much more difficult. And so games like I Want to Be the Guy, apparently, uh, fall into that category. And if you've ever played that game, it's the the most difficult game I've ever seen. So, um, yeah. You get the idea. And Legendary is a ROM hack hard map. So it's supposed to be like, the map is trying to murder you. Like, more so than most of Vex's maps. As in, like, anything he says, don't trust it. Because it's probably a lie and will kill you. And hopefully, if, if he achieves his goal, make you lose everything that you had achieved up to that point. So, it's, uh, I'm a little iffy on tr- Ooh! Coal time is 128. Alright! That makes things easier. I'm gonna uh, leave the chest there. Just for historical purposes. So, uh, that's awesome. I really wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna guess this map is along the easy level. <laughs> um because uh, I wouldn't have expected coal, like a big free coal um, from Vex. And uh, that's that's what it seems to be. So thanks, Vex. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, put a link in the description, if I can remember, to Vex's um, Minecraft forums forum thing blah, 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 for all of his um, maps and I would definitely suggest that you start with an easy one I I find it interesting because um, Infernal Sky was supposed to be more difficult than uh, Sea of Flame 
but I had much more difficult time with Sea of Flame. Uh, maybe it's just because most of the stuff is actually in caves in Sea of Flame, whereas in um, Infernal Sky, most of it was just above ground. Uh, or, well, at least a lot of the areas that you could go to were above ground. I mean, the dungeons themselves were oftentimes underground or just had a large amount of spawners in them. But um, for the most part, you could just open everything up to the daylight. Um, whereas in Infernal Sky... I mean, uh, in... Wow, yep, already forgot the name. <laughs> in uh, Sea of Flame, you can't do that. Uh, because it's all underground, and there's lava everywhere. Um, but it, 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 they are both fun. I did start Sea of Flame, and I got a little bit into it, but not very far before I realized that there was no way I was going to finish it, because it was nearly impossible. <laughs> At least for me. So, you know what, let's hop down here. Whee! We have the waterfall to get back up, if we so choose. So... That shouldn't be a problem. Is anything behind here? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, anything under the water? Hmm, I don't see anything. But you never know. I think that was one of the places that I wanted to check out because I couldn't see it from up above. Nothing down here, really? That kind of surprises me. Um. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just expecting him to be too generous now. But, uh... I was expecting something down here. Because, I mean, I guess it, it does provide, like, a, a roadblock for getting up and down and across and whatever. Um, except I could just build a bridge. And he gave me plenty of building materials, so... But I don't, I don't really know what the purpose of this little basin is. Um... I don't know. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I will, uh, if I'm assuming I remember, of course, I will put a link to Vex's maps in the description, and you guys should check them out, because they're they're really great. Um, I mean, if, you're, if you don't like the adventure part of Minecraft, I wouldn't suggest them, because you'll probably die a lot, and if that upsets you, then, well, that upsets you. So, yeah, um, but aside from that, uh, I love the maps. I think they're fantastic. I can't... I'm, I'm definitely not going to try, like, one of the higher-up ones, but, uh... Because I just know I'd get way too frustrated. But I did... I definitely enjoyed Infernal Sky. It was really awesome. Um, beautiful map. And, uh, yeah. And so I picked this one because it's... It said that he was testing out, um... A new thing with this. So I was like, you know, why not? What could it hurt? So, animals should still spawn around up here, um, because of the way the mechanics have changed. Uh, actually, I could change all this to grass if I wanted to, because I've got the dirt up there with the grass on it. I don't know what purpose that would serve. Um, I could grow myself flowers and grass for dye, but I don't really need dye, so... Alright, so I think we've covered this island for the most part. I don't... Uh, let's hop down there. Ooh, deeper than the other one. Okay, bunch of gravel. Uh, doesn't seem to go anywhere. Underneath, but I will... I will knock it out. And see if there's anything behind it. Because... Wow, that was weird. I actually had a little graphical glitch over here. Is there anything behind it? Mm, doesn't look like it. Alright, okay. Um, I guess this one's just like the other one, where there's nothing here. Um, of course, if you see something that I missed, go ahead and tell me. Because I'd like to know. <laughs> but, uh, looks like we're, we're done down here. There we go. Hop on up here. And I'm gonna have to move over to the side one. <laughs> Oh, I can just dig through that. No problem. Alright. I didn't realize it was just too thick. Okay, no. I'm gonna have to make a... I'm gonna make a bridge across. Because this is... 
too long of a uh, it's too big of a space to not make a bridge across. And uh, looks like we're almost done. I've got another 40 seconds left on this video. And um, once I'm done with this one, I'll probably be recording another one, actually. Uh, because, oops. Because <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Um, just because this is, uh, this is a new map, and it seems exciting. And, yeah. So I don't know if I'll be uploading them like near the same time or whatever, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you'll you'll know when it's up because you're all subscribed to me. I'm assuming so. Um, you'll get notified when it's done. And I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything behind here again, like I did with the other one, because you never know. There could be some big cave back here that I didn't know existed and has some really awesome stuff in it, like, especially with what happened with that coal, I want to make sure I check everything, because, uh, I'm sure I'll need any advantage that I can get, so, alright, um, I'll, fi I'll end this recording here, and, uh, yeah, so let me know what you think about this first episode, I'm, well, I'll be doing it whether you like it or not, so, there you go, but, uh, yeah, I think it'll be fun, and, uh, I hope you do too, so, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.